something greater in store for me. And so I, I had to deal with those challenges, and I was forced to say, you know, am I a Christian? Do I believe what the church teaches is true? And if so, why not live accordingly? So I really wanted to know what I, what I believed in, what I understood. And as I studied the teachings of the church and I came to learn them, uh, what I found was, I found not what I thought I'd find. I thought that the church was just a set of laws, just a set of rules. And they're saying, do this, you can't do this, this is bad, this is good, etc. And it's just constricting and you're just like, how can I live that way? You know, but when I, when I studied and when I learned and had a deeper understanding and grew in the teachings of the church, I realized it wasn't constricting. It wasn't just rules and regulations and, and it wasn't laws. But what it was, instead of saying no to things, what, what I was coming to understand, what it, it was saying a greater yes. So it wasn't just saying no, you know, like you can't do this, you can't do that, but yes, come, live the life of truth, walk with Christ, grow in that personal relationship with our Lord. So just like in soccer, you know, when, when I'm in, uh, even in college, like when I'm trying to be the best soccer player that I can be, when I'm trying to make it in the pros, when I'm trying to dra get drafted into MLS, you know, people are like, you know, why aren't you going out? Why aren't you drinking? Why aren't you staying up late? Why aren't you skipping class? You know, it's, it's not that I'm saying no. I'm not being boxed in. I'm not saying I can't have over consume alcohol. I can't eat unhealthy. I can't stay up late. I can't skip class. No, I'm not doing these things, but it's not that I'm saying no to these things. I'm saying yes to something greater. I'm saying yes, I want to be healthy. Yes, I want to get good grades. Yes, I want to be the best version of myself. And yes, I want to make it in the MLS. I want to be a professional soccer player, you know? So it's it's not constricting. It's not it's not just saying no, but saying yes to something greater. And that's what I realized. And in realizing this, you know, I had come to understand that I couldn't just take on the faith, put on the jersey of the faith that I was handed down, that you know, that I was learning through my parents um, and through my Catholic tradition. But I had to embrace it for myself. You know, I couldn't just go through the motions, but I had to put on my jersey because you see, we can go into like Champ Sports or something and we can find a LeBron James jersey and we can even buy that jersey and we can put it on. Even if we go so far as to go over to Cleveland and to step onto the basketball court in his jersey, we're still not LeBron James. You know, I'm not LeBron James if I wear that jersey and I step on that court because, you know, LeBron James, he's a little bit bigger than I am, a little bit stronger, a little bit better looking, and better at basketball. Just a little, it makes it a little bit more money than I do. <laughs> so you have to put on your own jersey, you have to embrace the faith for yourself. And in doing that in my life, you know, that made all the difference for me. Um.